I were 90 again. I don't know where I got it. I don't know why it happened. But I think I'm lucky, because I always knew what I wanted to do. My name is Ann Margaret. <laughs> do you hear that? That's Kay Ballard. I don't care. Well, she made more people famous than you can imagine. Bad Kay. She says it, and she delivers it right to your face. Uh, she's original. She's not like anybody else. Later, later we'll talk. She's one of the great entertaining women of all time. <laughs> she can do everything, you know? We'll have coffee, we'll talk. <sighs> she is magic. Uh, let's get real here. She is really one of a kind. <laughs> She's a character. You know, she really loves to put people together. <laughs> well, she was good in anything she had to do. She's a protean talent, and she always was. Oh, really? We're very lucky that we have the things that existed for, on television where she would recreate some of the nightclub things she did. It seems we stood and talked like this before. When you sit down and try to analyze her career, you just can't imagine what it was that kept Kay Ballard from going from here to here. She's had this phenomenal career and it continues to do so. She still works. You do have senior moments, but it's not so bad. Hit it! Welcome to Inside Rancho Mirage, a special program that will be shown on the Rancho Mirage TV station, Channel 17. I am Charles Townsend, and we are here with the renowned Kay Ballard <laughs> renowned. to talk about her love affair with Rancho Mirage, her home for the last, I can't believe, 49, 49 years. years here, and we had a street named for her, which is Kate <laughs> Ballard Lane. <clears throat> and what we're doing here is we're going to talk about how Kay came to be a Rancho Mirage icon and how this all came about. Also with us is Hal Wingo, Rancho Mirage resident Resident's and Resident. executive producer of the new Kay Ballard biography soon to be released. So oh, welcome right. to you both. Thank you. Well, now, wait a minute. Let's yes. start off with <clears throat> what? how you get to be, you know, have your own street. If you live long enough, <laughs> it will that happen. It? Because I just happen to be very lucky. I always wear this because it says long life. Oh. So far, it's been pretty lucky. <laughs> pretty lucky, pretty lucky. Yes, Absolutely. I'm swirling the bowl now, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been wonderful. Good. I remember when we dedicated it in the ribbon cutting, and Dana Hobart was very, very important, yes. you know, getting that done, too. Oh, he was you. very important. Very important for him. Done. And I think that's how uh, we got to meet you, was through through uh, Dana. Dana Hobart. And that Hobart. was a very, very nice uh, introduction, and that was a long friendship still going on with you and me today. Yes. And I appreciate that, too. And I yeah. thought, I don't want that ever to change. It will not. You guys. We're here. Really, it was just <laughs> wonderful how you've man <laughs> just manipulated your life from the beginning. It's well, just thank wonderful. You. Thank you. Thank you, Kay. Your career has spanned decades. You have known the most famous personalities in show business. You have called them your friends. That's right. And there is a long, long list, a mile long, but I have a part of it that you gave to Hal that I'm going to read. And these are the people that were in Kay's life and who have been in her home for dinners and stayed over. Oh, and, yes. Right? Yes. All right, now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read off the list of some of these people. Then we're going to go back. 
because there's a few uh, stories that I want Kate to relate to, to some of these wonderful personalities, celebrities that uh, she knows. So I'm going to start with Shelley Winters, Doris Day, Eve Arden, Ross Hunter, Yusuf Kirsch, Donna McKechnie, Lucille Ball, Hermione Bradley, Paul Lynn, Alice Ghostly, Carol Channing, Gavin McLeod, Rock Hudson, Rex Reed, Liz Smith, Leonard Pinario. That's very good. Did you I do remember it? that? All right. I, I, had a, I had a good teacher. Thank That's you very right. Much. Edie Gourmet <laughs> and Steve Lawrence, Phyllis Diller, Lana Turner, Burt Reynolds, Dinah Shore, Peter Marshall, Shecky Green, and there are probably many others, but this will give us an idea of the many celebrities that have adored this woman, have been friends for years, she cooked for them, she put them up at her house, and we're going to go back and I'm going to ask you a couple of things. How about starting. I adored them? You did too, of course you did. Yeah. But that's how much you were loved, Kate. I mean, this is unbelievable to think that this list of people, I mean, there's not other celebrities or personalities can say anything like this. And these were friends. These yes. weren't just acquaintances. These were friends of yours. Well, I kind of worked at it. Did you? Because I said, I want to meet everybody I truly admired. And I all, almost reached the list. I did. <laughs> Except for Hal Wingo. I didn't reach him yet. <laughs> you didn't reach him yet? You know, Kay, I remember years ago you telling telling the story about when you were in New York. <clears throat> you didn't have much money or anything, but you used to cook spaghetti dinners for all of That's them. That's right. right. And it started, this sounds like a name dropping, no. but it started with Marlon Brando. I want you to say that. Good beginning, I say. That was, that was the beginning. Now, yeah. you knew Marlon. Oh, I knew Marlon. Did you have a crush Very on well. him? No, you had a crush on him. <laughs> of course I had a crush on him. From the beginning. From the beginning. What was he like? He was... He was wonderful. Really? He wasn't like people think he would be. He was wonderful. And he said things funny, not knowing they were funny. You know, he really no, was yeah, just, yeah. he was beautiful in every way. Then when he became a star, that's when he disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Kay, when, uh, you know, I, I go, going through this, and we'll go, we'll go back on it, but I do want to touch on one of the parts of the of the bio is you got to New York, you got out of a cab, you you met who? Well, no, I knew I, I knew I would came there for a job. That's the important thing. I wouldn't go anywhere unless I had a job to look <laughs> forward to. Uh, no, it was an, it was an agent called Mark Letty that got me a job, and then from there it, it went, it carried on. Okay. But it, it's so interesting. But you got with Spike Jones. Spike Jones. Was that really the beginning for that you? That was the beginning. He and, was he was a mad, mad man. He was so talented. And he was a genius. Yes, he was. Because it, with Spike Jones, I worked at MGM, and I met all the ones that I wanted to know at, you know, like, like Judy Garland, I met her with Spike Jones, and I'll never forget. I went to Fred Astaire's fiftieth birthday, and I went. Amazing! My Amazing. God, Fred Astaire! <laughs> it was thrilling. So, were you I in have awe? Been so lucky. Were you in awe of all these people? In awe of them. And they were just regular, regular guys and gals, would That's you say? That's it, but I cooked dinner for them and won them over. <laughs> you did, you did. <clears throat> One other thing I want to make sure that I get into this is your mother had a saying that she said to you, and it was... Yes, learn how to cook, learn how to cook dinner. And I said, no, 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 she, she said, uh, I said, Mom, Mom, I want to make people laugh. She says, cook dinner tonight. They'll laugh. <laughs> no, you're a wonderful cook. But there was something else, Robert, that Kay had said that her mother said. What was that? Some... Good luck with my mouth. That was it. That That's was it. it. What did she mean by that? That you were she meant good mouthy? luck with your mouth. You're going to always say the wrong thing. <laughs> 
No, she was wonderful. Something else I never asked you is, you just started singing as a young girl and dancing, and, and they were telling you singing you're not going to go anywhere? Or That's right. What? Said, I'd say, Ma, I want to sing. for the boom Ma, I want to dance. for the boom I mean, they didn't. They just said, go ahead and do it, in other words. Did you go, did you go to school and take lessons in New York, or just, no. it just came to you? I came to New York and took lessons. Really? But you, you, were, you knew what you were doing. I started at the top and worked my way down. <laughs> <laughs> was speaking of working, you never stopped working. Never stopped all working. All these years. It's an amazing, amazing career. Yeah. All right, I'm, now I'm going to go back to our, our little list. Okay. Let's, let's tell the story about Shelley Winters when she was in the Poseidon Adventure and came to your house to do what and stayed there? She came, she, she says, Kay, I've got to learn how to swim underwater and act. Mm -hmm. I said, well, now go ahead. And then she would go under it, and I'd say, please, don't you see, Shelly, you're using up the batteries, you're using, I got to learn to swim underwater. <laughs> I said, oh, well, then swim underwater. <laughs> but she was... But the batteries referred to flashlights she was using. Oh, yeah, yes. she was using the flashlights in the pool underwater yeah. so she could see. It's unbelievable. But she's, case, oh, case underwater, I've got to swim case underwater. Yeah. All right, what about Doris Day? Doris Day is like the most perfect person you've ever met. You know, when you hear about Doris Day, you think, well, that's just, they're kidding. But it was true. Really? She was a wonderful actress. Just wonderful. It was it was a joy, and I used to always try to fix her fix her up with dates. Oh, did you? Yes. Yeah. She fall asleep. I say, please wake up. This is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you know next Eve Arden? I mean, Eve well, Arden was a joy. She yeah, was. Yeah. Now you worked with her on her show. Oh my God! I hope that show still is. It's wonderful. It is, it is. And she said she wished she had gone on for years, and so do I wish that. And the show you're so talking about is, <coughs> the show was? Mothers and Laws. Mother in Laws. <clears throat> Which brings me to another question about back in the day, we hear about these uh, actors making 25 million for you know 30 30 seconds on a screen back in the day why don't you share with people how that worked it was just what strictly salary or what that was it that was it unless you were the star that was it but it was a joy and then thank god i moved to palm springs and moved here that i could afford that you know the, the rent, the everything, and I was here at, in the early, early days, yes, yes. so it was easy for me to stay here. Oh, good, good. I'm going to move down to, um, okay, let's see, y Yosef? Yosef Karsh. Tell the story about, did you have him, he was he and a, his wife. A, what, a surprise, famous portrait photographer, the latest 20th Century Fox, and he and his wife were guests at your house. Oh, so. yes. They were guests for two weeks. They didn't come for three nights. Wow. They came for two weeks. And, and he wanted to do your portrait, and you said? I said, no, you don't want to do that, Mr. Karsh. And I was dumb. Very <laughs> dumb, dumb, dumb. Well. I didn't realize he was the most famous photographer in the world at the time. Amazing. He was from Canada, too. Really? Yeah. How did you get to know them? More brilliant people come from Canada. How did that come about that they stayed at your house? Do you remember? Well, because I was a friend of uh, Cam Ashland, and she knew him. And she says, well, they have no place to stay. Let them stay here with you. And I then I, I let them stay, and then I moved out and let them stay. Oh, oh my God. So, But they were wonderful. Wonderful people. Yeah. All right, Lucille Ball, funny story about bike riding and the neighborhood of Kay's home. You want to tell but that this, one? Of course I'll tell it. Is, it, is it clean? Can I'll you have tell to go it? to confession. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Go she, ahead, Kay. We were bike riding. And she'd go, she loved to go bike riding. So we went 
over Morningside and down where the um, rich people live <laughs> from the Jewish community. And a, an animal came running from the desert because it wasn't developed there. And he was growling and he had foam. And I said, oh my God, this is it. He came out of the woods and he said, ah, ah. <laughs> And she said, get the f out of here. Go back in that desk. Get that f out of here. And the, and the animal turned around and went right in. And I said, that's why you are queen of the world. And I am nothing. Look at that animal. Well, I'm going to come back to Lucille Ball and Desert Inez in a minute, but let me just go through this other list here. I saw uh, you were interviewed when Paul Lynn passed away. And you were yes. inter interviewed by, by them about your, your relationship with, with Paul Lynn. Is there anything you wish to stay on that, or you want to pass on that? Well, yes. No, I'm not going to pass on okay, that. Go ahead. Paul Lynn was a very jealous person, but a brilliant person. But he was jealous. Oh, it's exactly like a star is born. Uh, there we go. Yeah. <clears throat> And as a matter of fact, that's what I loved about that film. They came out and say that's what it was. Mm. They never said it before in any Star is yeah. Born, which, by the way, I loved it. Yes. Oh, my God, I loved Lady Gaga, and I loved Bradley Cooper. Wonderful. Wonderful picture. Huh? Wonderful, wonderful. I so wish anyway. they'd move here. As a matter of fact, they did they did some of the work here. In, yes, yeah, in Palm Springs, film. yeah, yes. But any, no, not, see, I've lost it on the way. Where was Paul I? Paul Lynn. Lynn. Paul Lynn. Paul Lynn. Oh, Paul Lynn, he was so angry, but I got him a job with uh, Leonard Shillman, and he just still was jealous. Amazing. You do tell a story in, in the uh, bio that they did on him when he passed away about he had this beautiful new home and he threw oh, a... Tell, <laughs> Kay, tell that, please. He wouldn't lend it. He said, these screws are from Spain. And he put them in there and then we'd go outside. We never saw the inside of this house. <laughs> And we never, we had to sit there and wait until the drinks came out or whatever it was. He is a riot. He was I said, something. Paul, you're going to die knowing that nobody had seen the inside. I don't want them to see the inside. Yeah, yeah. It seemed to me in, in watching eccentric. that, very eccentric, very yes. tortured, which was a shame for he all was. the talent and everything he, he had. How about Carol Channing? Carol Channing is just the the gem of the world. Amazing. I adore her. You still talk to Carol today? Or? I love her. Yes, yes, but she doesn't talk very much now. She's oh, 97. Okay. But she's still there, you know. She And she's here in the desert. That's, she, she's in we're Rancho gonna come, Mirage. We're going we're gonna to come back to why everybody landed here in their retirement, too. Yeah. What about Rock Hudson? Rock Hudson just came to visit, and he was so wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just lucky. I met him with, uh, who was that wonderful actress, blonde, that was, oh God, she was so wonderful. I can't think of her name. I, I'll come back next year and tell you. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. <laughs> we'll, we'll go, we're going to do this one, one more time. <clears throat> we're, by the, we're just touching on a very little, limited portion of the stories and the life of this wonderful, talented Kay Ballard. So I'm gonna move, move along just real quickly. Um, how about Burt Reynolds and Dinah Shore? Now, Burt Reynolds, when he died, they didn't interview me, and I wouldn't have given anything if they had. Uh -huh. Because Burt Reynolds, at the height of his career, came to do a show for me in Vegas for nothing. Oh my. Three days. He broke my heart. He, something happened. I don't know what. But those women that he was involved with, they were all crazy because yeah. he was the kindest man I've ever known. Really? Really. Oh, God. And Dinah Shore? Dinah Shore was just wonderful. She loved me because we loved the same art. 
I like had things that she collected and I was collecting from the same artist. And when she was just adorable. So you I've would, known such wonderful I, I, I know, that's why I said, you know, this is just, we're just scratching the surface here. Let me end up with going into the different people for right now. And you say here, Shecky Green, who you often call the funniest man he alive. Is. He seemed that way. He's the funniest man alive because he never uses a, a, any insane, you know, in, what is the word? I mean, yeah. he's not going to swear in other words. Oh, language. He never uses bad language. He doesn't use bad language and he's still hilarious. Like I just happened to walk into the building when he was there and he saw me and he said, Oh, play our song. <laughs> and the song comes on and he gets actual tears in oh. his eyes. And he says, that's not it. <laughs> well, I fell right down. <laughs> He's just one of the funniest men one in the world. One of the funniest men. Let, let, me just, uh, let me just digress. I don't think a lot of people know. When it came to Funny Girl. Yeah. You were really instrumental in trying to produce and be a star and be Fanny Bryce in Funny Girl. That's right. <clears throat> Why don't we just try to talk about how things change in the movie industry and what you think you're going to get don't happen. Can you go just a little bit into how this all transpired? Well, you should know that you, you just can't count on anything. Yeah because this is a business that they go for it strictly for the business. And when I saw her, I thought, well, this girl is so perfect for it, it just left my mind. And I was not jealous. You no, mean you Barbara, you're talking about Barbara, Barbara Streisand? Barbara Streisand. Right, right. I, I had the privilege of watching on the CD that uh, you gave to Gordon and me of all your highlights, singing My Man. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh, thank you. Such a great talent. Just one of the many, many things that this woman has just done perfectly. The voice was unbelievable. Well, thank you. The comedic timing, everything you did. Oh, well, thank you. Was absolutely outstanding. Thank you. Now let I want to thank you for this award. <laughs> You're welcome. Really? You see, we splurge here in Rancho Mirage. Oh, so we're, we're not, we're not, we're not cheap, uh, not cheap at all. And then when I met Judy Gavin, imagine I said, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> "Now let let me take you down to how did you come to be in Rancho Mirage? How did it start 49 years ago? What was it like then?" And how did you buy that house? It was very easy. I said to Desi, I'm going to get you something for Christmas. He said, no, you get nothing from me, except I want you to take this, this, this address and you, you try this house, see how you like it. You go there for two weeks. So I went to, I came to Rancho Mirage and I said, wow, what's this? Wow. And I see the house, and I walked in there, and he had a Santa Claus floating in the pool, you know, styrofoam. Really? Floating in the pool, and when I went inside, he had champagne, and he had caviar. I said, what a class act. <laughs> very, very class act. That's it. That's how I came to be in Rancho Mirage. But then very, you very eventually good. bought that house from him. Oh, yes. Now, how did that come about? Well, it came about because I said, can I buy the house? <laughs> <laughs> and that because you were staying there? I was staying there. And I just fell in love with it. And everybody I've introduced <laughs> it to, they have fallen in love with it. With too. that house. It's a lovely home. Lovely home. It's a cozy home. And it's homey. Good. Well, you make it home because yes. you're there. That's that's the key. Well, when it comes to coming out your bio, having seen a first cut of that documentary, and it is a fine history of Kay's theatrical talent, along with the history of the entertainment world through the eyes of Kay, 
who was there and had a huge part of the world of entertainment. Well, I must admit that the bio has something more to do with me. It, it's the things that I introduced that I never got a chance to really do. To do, to do. It's a, it's a wonderful, Hal, you did a beautiful job, all of you that worked with it. It's re really magnificent. Well, we are all so proud to have called you Rancho Mirage's favorite person and your home. You are loved and admired by all of us who have known you, treasured you, and loved you, too. Oh, thank and you. Thank I, you for taking this you, time Charles. to do this for us, for our Rancho Mirage TV. And we're looking forward for everybody to see this and uh, get to know Kay a little bit the better she is an, a, uh, to me, a, a worldwide institution. And I can oh, well, remember when I first met you, like I said, I was in awe and oh, I still thank am. You. I love you. Thank you Thank so you, much. everyone. I appreciate it. Hal, thank you thank for you. being here with us. And until next time, Charles Townsend signing off. Thank you. Bye, Charles. Me, me, me. Oh. Yeah. Let's see your teeth. Oh, she misses her old teeth. <laughs> but the best part of my life is now. I'll never be able to sing anything. I've been laughing so hard all day. Good. <laughs> <laughs>She is living in the here and now. She doesn't live in the past. I do shows now for the prevention of cruelty to animals. I have a purpose. Kate always has three or four adorable little dogs that are her life, and she lives for the Palm Springs Film Festival, and she's a celebrity. She lives on Kay Ballard Drive. I mean, how fabulous is that? There's no people like show people. They smile when they are low. Yesterday they told you you would not go far. You sleep with the producer and there you are. Next day on your dressing room they Would I do it all again? You bet your ass I would. <laughs>